What is going on, Pipe fans? So today we're going to watch the final round, the final of uh, uh, the title fight, final round of Epo versus Sendo. Now, I've never gone this far in the series. I never got to the fight where he fights uh, Takashi Sendo. But we're going to watch it together. Why not, right? And I'm going to look at this in with a critical eye to one thing that I love about the show is that, yes, they're hyperbolic about what they display, but it's rooted in a realistic boxing strategy, right? Like, for example, I forget the name of the... Uh, of the dude that has the long arms obviously the way he's jabbing is crazy is super fast it's hyperbolic for anime but it makes sense in, in 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 the fact that he's the guy with the long range that's throwing the super snappy jab he he's based off of tommy hearns so he's uh you know he he, he tommy hearns will throw real fast whack, whack, you know what i'm saying whack, real fast jabs so he's kind of in a hyperbolic way showing that it's hard to get on the inside because you're going to be throwing these fast jabs at you uh you know with the with the hitman style which is tommy hearns so they've always been rooted in a realistic base and then they over exaggerate it for the entertainment value so i've always appreciated that so even though we might see some over exaggerated stuff i want to see where the roots of those exaggerated stuff stuff come from so without any further ado let's go ahead and uh Watch this fight for me for the first time, maybe for you not, but for me definitely the first time. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. <clears throat> oh, wow. So he caught him with a liver blow. Oh, they're going back and forth. It, it doesn't look like, okay. I don't even care what they say. Good left hook by Epo. Mike Tyson in the house. Oh, good left hook by Epo. By uh, Sendo, I mean. Uppercut by Epo. I love how Epo is so... He, he literally looks like Mike Tyson. Right hand by Sendo. Doubled up the jab and then threw the right hand. You see what I mean? It's rooted in realistic boxing. He got, okay, he got Epo on the ropes. <laughs> Epo got that peekaboo style. You gotta love it. He, he, he looked like he got the Philly shell. Oh no, he looked like he got the cross. Oh, he's coming in with the... Ooh, using the, uh, the elbow to push off. Double hit. Straight from Epo. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm only watching the final round. And this is insane. So he's he's moving in to capitalize. It looks like uh Takashi's about to fall. See now that eye? That symbolizes the killer instinct. Oh. Oh, he slipped it. Woo! Oh my goodness, you gotta love this. You gotta love this anime. He slipped it. Got him. Now, here's one thing. Oh, slipping. Oh, it was a to throw him off. To get him to and then get him with the with the uppercut. Beautiful. Oh man. Coming in. Oh, what is it? Is he gonna dodge that? Oh no, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Left and right. See now, you see this is the over exaggeration, but he's basically battering his opponent. This is like the what it this is the anime over exaggeration of what battering your opponent would be. He just destroyed him. There's no way to catch the center gonna get up from that. He gave up. He put. He put everything he had in that. So right now, he's praying that he doesn't get up. 
Because he's tired. He gave it. He gave it his all. You can tell. He's up. Okay. He should go in for the kill, but he might be too tired. He might have. He might have. Uh. Oh, he's getting that killer instinct. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sakasendo gonna fall. He may have punched himself out. Oh wait. Wait, they're still counting? Oh, it's over! So he was up, but he wasn't, he was still leaning on the ropes. And, the, and he was still kind of wobbly. So I think what just happened there was time freezes. That's a lot, that's something that happens all the time in anime. Time freezes. And in, in a space that looked like it was 10 seconds, basically what happens in anime a lot is that time is freezing. So so that all the thoughts that that would be like these quick snap thoughts that you would have they they kind of extend those moments so him getting up and him looking at him is just like an extended moment of like a a a, 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 a this like extended moment in time of like splits of seconds right um but he was getting up and he was still counting which happens all the time right the referee some is they'll count uh, until you, you're fully up, right? Sometimes you're getting up and they'll still count a little bit after you've completely gotten up because you're not all the way there, there yet. And that's what it looked like it did there. So I love that subverted expectation moment where you thought, oh, maybe he's going to get up. Maybe he's he, he's actually, you know, he's going to, He's gonna fight this thing and get up, but that was a uh, that uh, the barrage was so crazy that I was thinking, wait, this look crazy. I don't know if this dude's gonna get up, and I was proven right. Although I did get uh, it, it did kind of try to swindle me, trick me in that last moment. That was such a fun final round. I probably should have watched the whole fight. Now I'm kind of pissed that I didn't watch the whole fight. But let me know if you guys enjoyed uh, this video. We played a lot of Hajime no Ippo stuff. We played a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of these games, uh, the Boxers Row games and stuff like that, the Victorious Boxers game. Uh, we played uh, Hajime no Ippo, the fighting here, right? So why not? Why not watch it and, and, and look at it and, and kind of, analyze it through through how it would be in in real life if it was you know if it was boxing so this this was fun this was really really fun uh to watch there was a lot of things that i i, I wish i would have paused but i didn't want to pause i wanted to keep it flowing but there were things that they over exaggerate but you could tell where the base of that comes from you could tell where the base of those things are like for him to go like this and it, it looked like he's just moving but uh, Takashi Ascendo is not moving um and he's just standing there looking at him go like this obviously that wouldn't be the case in real life there'll be movement and there'll be movement from the other fighter but that's how it feels you're like a deer in the headlights sometimes when somebody's coming to you like that and you don't know what to do and the person's coming aggressively and that's what they're trying to emulate they're trying to emulate the feeling of fighting as opposed to the actual what you see as the as an audience member when you're watching fighting in in from the third person from the outside perspective they're trying to emulate what the fighters are feeling at while you're inside the ring uh, and they do that very very well all right guys let me know if you guys enjoyed that if you want to see me play hajimi no ipo the fighting and actually use that combo because that was a super in the game in the game that i'm playing you can go ahead and click right here it should take you right to that video and until the next time guys peace out